Carrie Berger, Annie Bellotta, and Tish Williams are avid cyclists. They've been riding together for years. And on February 17th, they were on a riding trail in North Bend, Washington, that's about 30 miles east of Seattle. And it started out as a routine bike ride, turned out to be the fight of their lives when a cougar jumped out of the woods, attacking Carrie, clinching its jaws on her head. She suffered severe trauma to her face, permanent nerve damage, but she's alive, thanks to her friends fighting off the animal for some 45 minutes. Joining me now to share the details of the harrowing incident are Carrie, who survived the attack, and her incredibly brave friends, Annie and Tish. Uh, ladies, I'm so honored to spend this time with you, so thank you for being here. And, and Carrie, I want to start by telling you, I've spent time in North Bend, Washington, on hiking trails. I ride. You lived through my worst fear. Uh, what do you remember most? What are you thinking about all the time about the attack? Well, I just think all the time how I could be dead if my four ladies that I was with didn't jump in and save my life. We all fought out there, but I could not have done it on my own. Absolutely, so brave. Annie, what was your immediate response? I mean, did the adrenaline just kick in? Uh, it must have, because uh, I just raced over to Carrie and I wasn't even thinking of what I would do, I just did. Um, and the first thing I did was try to choke the cougar. Which is what you're supposed to do, right? I mean, when you read about how to react in a moment like this, uh, and it, this wasn't quick. It wasn't like this happened in an instant and then was over, right? It took some 45 minutes to subdue this cougar. I mean, Tish, can you tell us about that? Well, Annie and uh, Auna and Carrie were behind me and Eric and I were in front, so I didn't have I looked behind me and I heard Annie say no. And so I have that sort of like, I can't run. I see a cougar attacking my dear friend. And and then Alana just started saying, start screaming, grab a stick. So I looked to the side of myself and grabbed a stick and a rock. And Annie had already like grabbed the front of the animal and Alana had the legs of the animal pulled back. So I approached it as Eric was calling the first 911 call and just started beating it with the rock over and over and over. And then, you know, the, the cougar had carry in its mouth for the next 15 to 20 minutes until it released. Wait, Carrie, you were in the cougar's mouth for some 15 or 20 minutes? It was, a, I think it was about 15 minutes. We have a timeline of everything and it was clamped on my face and crushing my bones um, I was trying to stick my fingers up its nose and gouge its eye out, trying to pry uh, its mouth open while I was trying to protect my throat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it was an extended period of time, but I also heard everybody around me fighting furiously to save my life. Wow, and they did save your life. I know you've suffered some permanent uh, nerve damage, though. H how is your recovery going? It's going well. I've been, um, you know, I've been very positive through the whole thing, and I have uh, progressed I extremely well every day. I'm, I'm still very tired, and uh, things are blurry. Uh, my focus is not quite there, but. Um, but I am extremely happy to be alive and grateful for every moment that I get to, um, you know, live. I mean, Carrie, your spirit is amazing. And as I learn about you uh, and how you have reacted in the aftermath of this, I'm so inspired. Uh, I'm wondering, Annie, if you want to talk a little bit about your friend and how she has handled this. Well, Carrie has always been very optimistic. A ray of sunshine is is how I like to to call her, um, and so it's it's not really surprising uh, going through this that that she's optimistic and just like the most positive person I know. Um, that just describes Carrie. So it gives all of us a lot of optimism because she's so optimistic and positive. It's just incredible. And uh, Carrie, I have to ask. Are you wearing the earring, or do you wear the earring that you lost? I wear the earring. He he ate the earring right off my ear, and then this year he mangled with his claw. But I've got both my earrings now, and I'm, you know, that's my little souvenir. They wouldn't give me a tooth, so I have my earrings back. 
Oh, that's just incredible. And, and Tish, uh, last word from you. I want to know what it will be like when you can get back out on the trail again with Carrie. You know, just we're doing really good because we're not crying today. But um, as Annie said, Carrie's like my riding buddy. And so, you know, this past weekend we all met and, you know, we went off to do a bike ride together and Carrie wasn't with us physically, but in spirit she was. I can't wait to hold her hand spiritually and mentally as she's going to walk through some of the fear. All of us have begun to ride in the woods again. And I believe that we'll be there to help her go through some of the fears that we're having right now, trying to get back in the woods to enjoy the most beautiful thing that we love to do and ride in the woods. Yeah, absolutely. And Carrie, do you want to give us a last thought of what it'll feel like for you to get back on that bike? I've been asking my doctors every day when I can get back out there. I just, you know, I can't imagine not being out there. It's what we do. We're avid cyclists and it's really difficult not to be there. Um, this incident won't hold us back. You are so inspiring, Carrie. I'm so happy that I got to speak with all of you. Uh, thank you so much and ride fast, all right? Next time you get out there, you are true survivors. And y I mean, you are the embodiment of what it means to have good friends. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Ride fast, ladies. Thank you for being with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.